What's going on guys? Welcome to the first episode of Tuesday Night Thai Night. Now we've been doing this for a couple months now every Tuesday night, but I'm going to start sharing all the content and video with you. So make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, share this video, that would help me out a lot. And if you have any questions about the uh, tools you see, materials we're using, any of the methods and techniques we're doing, just leave a comment and I'll answer you as quickly as I can. Tonight we've got James Dooley and Daryl Ogden joining me and we're gonna be tying some musky flies. All right, we've got a triple pack of triple Bufords. Got a black and blue, three shades of blue. It's a box of Bufords. Box of Bufords, got a sucker. Some cream in there, copper in the back. Oh yeah. We got the pink and olive. That is sexy. <laughs> That's gonna catch a fish, homie. <laughs> so what are you tying tonight? Uh, probably gonna tie. Probably tie another triple Buford. Another triple Buford yeah. sounds good to me. I think I'm gonna do uh, white and gray with a little purple that dubbing. Uh, do another game changer. Sweet. That'll catch him. <laughs> All right. <laughs> what I got so far this is the first link the tail link for the game changer I'm tying I decided on uh, white and gray for my main colors kind of going for that shiner or shad look um, and then I've got a little bit of purple uh, flash uh, let's see it's called magnum dubbing that's what I'm using on the sides here and I'll also build my head with this stuff and James has got his tail started as well. He's got some beautiful feathers on there. Some nice grizzly yellow and grizzly red. Orange. Just a little trickle of orange coming up the middle. It's gonna have some yellow bucktail coming up. So James decided on doing a Buford in Fire Tiger. So that's gonna look pretty good at the end of the night. James has his hook on, he's got a couple reverse ties of bucktail, nice pretty feathers on that. So what colors are you going to do on this fire tiger bucktail? Uh, I'm just going to do yellow, orange, and red. Yellow, orange, and red. For clown look. Yep, that's fire tiger right there. That'll catch him. I've got my first hook on, got the stinger hook, Gamakatsu 4 rot stinger hook. So that's the second technically second shank um, so I've got let's see one two three I'll have five or six shanks before this fly is finished so whenever I put a base layer of thread down and on each new shank I run a bead of super glue gorilla super glue down first and uh, that just kind of secures everything in place uh, maybe a little more protection against the teeth of the muskies. Um, not necessary, but I always go above and beyond when tying these things. always do a little more than I need to help keep everything together. Oh, 
Yeah. Instead of doing a reverse tie in the bucktails, I've been pretty normally using uh, this body tubing, either the Blaine chocolate variety or uh, this stuff I got in a bargain bin for 50% off, so two bucks for this whole thing. Uh, and like I said, instead of doing a reverse tie for the bucktail, I've been using this stuff to stand it up. And it kind of gives the illusion of a little more bulk at the center of the fly as well, which I like. Um, and of course you're using less bucktail to achieve the same look um, So I really like using it, but in order to use it you have to singe the ends with the lighter Otherwise it will unravel itself when you go to Tie it in because you have to fold it back upon itself three or four times So after tying it in, you're going to fold it back over itself once. Pull it forward until you're lined up with your tie down. And then you're going to tie the other end in. You want to tie it directly on top of the first tie. Then I take, uh, let's see, either super glue or UV finish. Go over that thread wraps right there, and those thread wraps are going to be covered up by the body tubing, so it kind of protects your tie down location from uh, from getting chewed on. Now I'll just tie a regular bundle of bucktail on right here and that body tubing will flare it out. Alright guys, we got these flies finished, uh, James has his Fire Tiger Buford and I tied up a gray, white, and purple game changer. So we're going to show them to you here and talk a little bit about them. This is the game changer. It's tied on two 28mm uh, fish, fish skull shanks. Uh, the rear hook is a Gamakatsu 4 aught stinger. The front hook is a 5 aught owner worm hook. Um, and I just made it real short. Did it a little shorter than I was planning on doing it and just bulked it up a lot. So it's going to have a nice fat profile coming through the water. Got some uh, 3D eyes on there. Uh, super glued those on and then did some UV resin around them to kind of hold them in place a little bit better. Um, that UV resin also keeps the head formed really, really bulky there. So, 
material will only come down so far before that UV resin holds it up. Gives it a nice head profile. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Used uh, Bucktail, uh, some Flashaboo, some purple and green Flashaboo, uh, a couple hackles for the tail, um, and that's pretty much it. Got the Fire Tiger Buford finished up. Some nice whiting hackle in the back, a little bit of flash, just a kiss. Mix of orange red. A little bit of mix of color in the in the head. Still working on the head, but I think it'll fish. I think it's gonna be good, man. So explain to me how how you get that bucktail to flare on that head like that and what that does to the action of the fly in the water. That one I actually used uh, hair closer to the butt end of the bucktail and actually cut it down two sides, wrapped it in about halfway in the material and then just let it let it spin, give two and a half, three turns, and then just yank down on it really hard and it, it spun. But yeah, that, that helps uh, push water, helps give the, the fly a lot of action in the water. Yep. It's all about moving that water. <laughs> yep. Yeah, so that's one thing the the muskies are attracted to when your when your lure or your fly is is moving a larger vol volume of water, um, the muskies can sense that with their lateral line. They they can sense that almost like we can hear when a coin drops on the floor. So you get a big head on your fly and and pu start pushing some water, and it's a big attractant. That also, yeah, like, like he was saying, that also helps the fly dart back and forth. And another big uh, propellant to get, you know, a fish strike is that T-bone. So if your fly can dart to the side and present its side profile to the fish behind it, you stand a better chance of getting a strike. That's a beautiful Buford. Well done, James. Alright guys, that concludes this week's episode of Tuesday Night Tie Night. If you liked the video, please say so, comment, share it with your friends, subscribe to the channel, we'd really appreciate it. Also, all the flies that we tied in tonight's video, as well as many others, are available on the website for purchase. So head on over to blueridgemuskie.com and check it out. Thanks.